Now to a CBS 46 exclusive. We were telling you about this moments ago. A motorcycle uh, rider had a gun road rage incident and it was all caught on camera. That's right. He pulled a gun in the incident and the deputies still let that driver go. We want to head out to Rebecca Schramm again here live in Coweta County with more details from the sheriff's office. Rebecca. Hi, Bobby and Glory. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot that the deputies could do in this case because the victim didn't stick around to give a statement. Now, keep in mind, we don't know what led up to this incident, but take a look at this exclusive video of road rage as captured by a witness. I can't imagine this this type of thing occurring between people that, that know each other. A couple of seconds after the motorcycle comes into frame, you see the driver turn around and point a gun at a black car behind him. The witness who recorded the video is a former Georgia police officer. We're protecting his identity because of the nature of his current work. He says the guy on the motorcycle put everyone near him in danger. Drawing a firearm in just about every case should be an absolute last resort. And it seems like that was this guy's first resort. He got on the phone with 911 and followed the motorcycle until police caught up with him. Officer Officers put the motorcycle driver in handcuffs, but in a surprise move, Coweta County Sheriff's deputies let him go. This guy's college age, okay? We know what just happened in Oregon. You know, how do you not take the firearm out of the hand of a guy that's going to behave this way, that's, that's going to act this recklessly? If I commit aggravated assault, if I point a weapon at people and threaten their lives on a public highway in broad daylight, and I don't even get go to jail, I don't even get a ticket. They didn't even hang a, a citation on this guy. What do I have to do to get arrested in Coweta County? Now, a spokesman for the Coweta County Sheriff's Office tells us this is not over. They have the contact information of that victim, and they're planning to get in touch with him soon to see if he wants to press charges. Live in Noonan, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.